The tragic fate of Pompeii, an ancient city that vanished in a horrifying night, leaves behind an epic tale of life and destruction. Together, let's delve into the wonders and darkness of the past hidden behind these magnificent ruins. Welcome to our special episode on the city of Pompeii, where history meets an unforgettable disaster. Pompeii was a thriving and beautiful Roman city. Stone-paved streets, grand architecture, and enchanting gardens created a breathtaking cityscape. Pompeii's residents enjoyed an active social life. The city's forum was the hub for daily activities, where people gathered for business, discussions, and artistic performances. Pompeians lived in spacious and beautiful homes. Some houses featured inner gardens, swimming pools, and astonishing mosaic floors. The markets in Pompeii were centers of economic activity. Residents visited the markets to buy and sell goods, including agricultural produce, crafts, and everyday necessities. Pompeii was a crucial trading city. Citizens engaged in various businesses, including jewelry, craftsmanship, and the trade of agricultural products. The Pompeii Amphitheater was a primary entertainment venue. Gladiator shows, sports competitions, and Roman theater were integral parts of the cultural life. Pompeians enjoyed a comfortable lifestyle. Public places such as public baths, gyms, and recreational areas added to the pleasures of daily life. The citizens of Pompeii had a deep appreciation for art and craftsmanship. Mosaics, wall paintings, and sculptures were integral parts of home and building decorations. The Latin language was widely used in Pompeii, with inscriptions and writings on walls providing insights into everyday language usage. Roman theaters and other artistic performances were the primary sources of entertainment for the people of Pompeii. They enjoyed dramas, comedies, and tragedies staged in the city's theaters. The society in Pompeii was well-structured, with clear social class distinctions. People engaged in various activities that reflected their social status. Pompeians loved celebrating festivals and events, often filled with artistic performances, sports competitions, and religious processions. Pompeii was a significant trade center, and its community was involved in various occupations, including agriculture, craftsmanship, and trade. The citizens of Pompeii held diverse religious beliefs, and temples and altars adorned with statues of gods were used for worship. Mount Vesuvius is a stratovolcano located in southwestern Italy near the city of Naples and the Bay of Naples. The mountain gained fame for its dramatic eruption in 79 AD, which buried the ancient Roman cities of Pompeii, Herculaneum, and several other settlements beneath layers of volcanic ash and pyroclastic material. Before the major eruption in 79 AD, there were several signs of volcanic activity that could be observed. However, it's important to note that modern volcanology and understanding of these signs are more advanced than they were at that time. An increase in earthquake activity can be an early indication of volcanic activity. Earthquakes associated with volcanoes can be caused by the movement of magma beneath the Earth's surface. Increased pressure from below by approaching magma can lead to deformation of the ground around the volcano. Monitoring changes in the shape of the mountain through geodetic measurements can provide clues about subsurface changes. An increase in the amount of gas and hot steam emanating from the volcano's crater can indicate movement of magma below the surface. Rising concentrations of volcanic gases and certain chemical elements in well and spring water around the volcano can serve as indicators of volcanic activity. Unusual temperature changes around the volcano's crater can indicate volcanic activity. A rise in the frequency and amplitude of volcanic earthquakes can be a sign that magma is moving within the volcano. Unusual geyser activity or temperature changes in hot springs around the volcano can signal volcanic activity. In the context of Vesuvius, some of these signs might have been observed before the eruption in 79 AD. However, during that time, the understanding of volcanology was limited, and society might not have been aware of the potential dangers. Critical moments during a volcanic eruption are the periods when volcanic activity reaches its peak, posing a high potential threat to the surrounding environment. As the eruption approaches, the frequency and amplitude of volcanic earthquakes dramatically rise. These earthquakes reflect the movement of magma within the volcano and can serve as early indicators of an imminent eruption. Pressure from the rising magma causes ground deformation around the volcano. This increased pressure can lead to changes in topography, the formation of fissures, 
and even the creation of magma domes around the crater. Fumaroles or volcanic hot springs in the vicinity become highly active. The temperature within the crater rises significantly, creating extremely hot conditions around the erupting vent. Critical moments involve the release of heat waves, pyroclastic flows, and other volcanic materials. These materials can sweep and destroy everything in their path, including human settlements. The culmination of critical moments is an explosive eruption that expels pyroclastic material, volcanic ash, and gas into the atmosphere. This eruption can create a towering ash column and hot ash clouds that may reach heights of tens of thousands of meters. Following the eruption, volcanic ashfall may occur over a wider area, creating a thick layer of ash covering the ground. Additionally, lahars or volcanic mudflows can form as volcanic material mixes with water, posing a threat to lower-lying areas.